So Muppet is a Cavapoo. So she's a Cavalier Spaniel mixed with a mini poodle. Hit the bed instead of doing the full jump and I heard a yelp and then after that she has been unable to jump. Got it. Oh, good Put her girl. down, let her... There's this spot here that makes her turn and mm -hmm. move. Good girl. Oh, very I just made a new online course called How to Massage Your Own Dog. All right, so we have Muppet here today. Tell us Muppets, and this is Corinne, the owner, and of course, mother of Little Muppet. Tell us breed, age, and how mm -hmm. you got Muppet into your life. So Muppet is a Cavapoo. So she's a Cavalier Spaniel mixed with a Mini Poodle. She's five. Cavalier Spaniel mixed with a Mini Poodle. What a mm -hmm. great combo, right? Mm -hmm. Very friendly. She's five years old. Um, I mean, honestly, I I got her at a low point in my life and she's everything to me. So oh. I'm, I'm here because I just want to help make her life better. And what happened like two weeks ago was the, the an incident. Yes, about two. Of, of that Mm -hmm. It was like a little injury or pain. About two so weeks ago, she went to jump on the bed. She was at the foot of the bed and her body hit the bed instead of doing the full jump and I heard a yelp and then after that she has been unable to jump and she's a very athletic dog. She loves mm -hmm. the ball, ball is life. Mm -hmm. um, so I can just see she's more depressed, she's more lethargic, she was nauseous from the pain for a while. Now she's a little bit more herself, but she still doesn't have that extra spunk, so I just want to make sure that I can do what I can. So the first thing you did was went to see your vet. Went to the and vet. And how did that visit go? Tell us what you learned. The vet was okay. Uh, they were more worried that maybe she had Lyme disease or something like that, so mm -hmm. they did blood tests on her and a physical, mm -hmm. and they gave her pain meds and said they hoped that if it was a disc that it would go back in itself. Right, so they thought she might have hurt her disc or, uh, you know, pinched nerve or spinal issue um, and they said it would self-resolve hopefully yes hopefully and they gave you um, some type of painkiller or pain what? meds yes yeah some meds mm -hmm. right okay. yes to and, bring down the inflammation and that was approximately two weeks ago yes. also mm -hmm. and has she improved in the last two weeks or it, is she still a little concerned about jumping she's concerned about jumping now she just waits for me to pick her up okay so she's not jumping yes and she doesn't jump up on the bed like she used no. to no and yeah. she's only five. Yes. Okay, and then as you come down her back, there's a spot that makes her wince, right? Mm -hmm. Why don't you show that to us? So there's, really soft though, okay? There's this spot here that makes her turn and mm -hmm. move okay. on her hips. Yeah, she, she immediately did her little walk mm -hmm. away and reset. Mm -hmm. All right. That's Do you think no I can work you. with you today? Mm -hmm. Would Aww. that be okay if I <laughs> just work with you a little bit? All right, let's start up here at the head and neck. And I might have to stand up and move around. Mm -hmm. So you stay there and I'm gonna walk around. Okay. If anything, slide to the right just a little mm -hmm. bit. Okay. All right. So there's a little bit at the atlas. So I like adjusting the atlas whenever possible. Mm -hmm. And she's a little nervous with me. Can you tell she's a little yeah. hunched? Got it. Good girl. So that's a good atlas adjustment. Very no, okay, okay. Show yeah. Me. Let's I even know. let her be on the floor for a quick second and see if she shakes that out. Okay. You shake it out, puppy. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Good girl. Sometimes they need to do that reset. Nice. She's a shaker. She's yeah. a big on shake. 
come here. Right, and she also gets to see that she's okay. Yeah. Like we didn't hurt her. That's a big adjustment, the atlas. Oh, now I'm gonna come down here and see what the lower neck feels like. And you're okay now, you see that wasn't so bad. It flipped you out a little bit because it was a, made a little pop, did you hear mm -hmm. it on the atlas? So now we're down the back. And I'm using such a light touch. You feel more when you touch light. She can be in your arms, I'll come around. Okay. That's sometimes safer for her to be in mommy's arms, right? And Kind of figure this out, right? I'm watching her face, watching her breathing. Coming down really slow. Dogs have some seven bones in the neck, 13 in the mid back, and seven lumbars. We have five lumbars, typically. And this is a big junction between where the thoracic area meets the lumbars and it's an area that gets injured a lot on dogs. Also an area that gets arthritis in dogs that when they're aging and they're seniors. So now I'm kind of in the, the worst of it. Okay, so I think it's, this is your wincing spot here. Now, when I work on this, it might make her yelp or, uh -huh. okay, but it's good to get this. So to get this, I have to put my hand under the belly uh -huh. to support. Okay. <laughs> good girl. Good girl. And one here. Okay. Oh, good Put girl. her down and let her shake again. <laughs> Come on. Nice. Good girl. Nice. Okay. Okay. You can play with her a little bit, so <laughs> praise her now. Very good. Okay. Very good, honey. I know. Very good. What a good patient. Okay. Can you feel a little better? So let's do a little more, okay? Mm -hmm. so now we're going to go back and I'm going to use this percussive instrument to tap a little bit more into her same areas. But I found the, I found where the injury is already. Mm -hmm. um, so let's see if we can get her on this table, even for it's just a quick minute. And this is what okay. this feels like. It's oh, soft. Yes. It's okay. Um, good girl. Nice. Very good. And this will literally push the bone back in. She seems to be taking this quite well. And this is okay. light also, do you feel? Yes. Okay. There's a bad spot here that I want to get directly. That's it. Cover down on the ground again. What? Oh my gosh! What a good so, girl. I don't know how well we got it yet, mm -hmm. but why don't you sit up here with me and let's see if she jumps up. Oh, Muppet! Muppy! Oh! Oh! Look at you! <laughs> Does that feel better? Does that feel better? Say thank you, Dr. Dad. <laughs> How do you feel now? You get this? She's like, I don't know. So let's try that again. Put her on the floor and then you come, come uh -huh. back and sit next to me, okay? Okay. Oh, come on, Mop. Mop. Moppy. <laughs> what do you think? Is she moving better? I think she's moving a lot better. I mean, no yelps on those on yeah. those jumps. That's really great. Oh, okay. she's more scrambly. 
That's more her. Look at you with your high energy. Yeah. All right, I think we're done. I mean, I yeah, think that's, that's great. what we should do. Now, sometimes because of muscle memory and, and because, you know, she's young, which is, we have that on our side. Yes. But if you feel like she needs a follow up, I bring her back in a week. Yeah. I mean, it might even be just a good idea to bring yeah, her back. Yeah, just to bring her back, just to make sure. And to make sure it really holds and stabilizes. Yes, absolutely. And just think about it, because you've been a chiropractic patient. As humans, we don't always, like, clear everything out of one visit. Yeah. It would be great, but sometimes we don't. It's sometimes a process more than a one-day procedure. Yeah. But I got a lot of it. I was on the nasty spot, and, you and I pushed it. it back in. Yeah. And it clicked. It went pop. I heard the And then I used the vibration of the percussive instrument to reset the mechanoreceptors, the proprioceptors, and um, kind of just reset the alignment and also to just stabilize and, and support that. And then I got a really good adjustment on the atlas, which relaxed her whole body. And I think she saw confidence right away to jump, right? Yeah, yeah, I mean, right yeah. away. Now, this is probably not as tall as your bed. Yeah. But um, do you want to try something higher? You yeah. feel pretty good. I, I mean, honestly, I think she's pretty good. Yeah, but you saw a difference. A huge difference. She would okay. not be able to jump before. Or she would have hesitated. She would have waited for me, and then she gives me her back so I could pick her up. But, but she, she did didn't. not. Twice in a row. Yeah. All right, so I think we're done for today. Yes. Thank you, everybody. Thank I hope you. you enjoyed seeing this process. <laughs> been a week um and review what the concern was okay so yeah. what was the concern so that brought you in in the first yeah place? so muppet stopped uh she stopped jumping mm -hmm. uh, which is part of her personality for for the ball for uh jumping onto the bed jumping on the couch and part of her comfort um and then when she did try to do it she would be yelping right uh and she obviously injured herself she had a reaction to it when it happens and then mm -hmm. hasn't been the same dog since and then she would wince or or yes. retract when you would touch her when back. I would touch her back so that's how I knew and she would ask me to pick her up right you told her, her she'd even put your back and to yes. you and say lift me yes exactly that's the only way you got her on the couch yes which is something she's never done right because she's so confident yes exactly so I knew something was really wrong took her to the vet uh, they didn't really have much to say other than pain meds and hopefully things work themselves out and Anyway, so I brought her in because I mm. thought maybe her life could be changed I don't want her body to get used to overcompensation mm -hmm. in the wrong place. So um, Did some adjustments and immediately she was able to jump on the couch, which is honestly she hadn't been doing that for two, almost two weeks mm -hmm. so that was a big deal to me and since then at home her personality and her confidence is much better. She's jumping, like soaring through the air for the ball. She has jumped on the couch once or twice and surprised herself. No yelping. Mm -hmm. The bed, she's still trepidatious, but um, she's gonna get back there. Let's talk about um, something you brought up because it's, and we talked about it when you first arrived. So sometimes a dog will lose their confidence in a certain activity. Like, so in Muppet's case, she will, athletically jump high in the air to get a bouncing ball but she's still a little worried about the couch yeah. although she's done it successfully yes and that's just because she's got this memory of this association with jumping on the couch gives me pain yeah. so one thing is i asked her is she a treat oriented but she's you said not so she's not she's like a food or or treat motivated yeah um she is praise motivated and yes. she likes her favorite ball yes so I thought you could maybe take like a little peanut butter or something, a little chicken, and put it on the ball, a little smell of the chicken, mm -hmm. and your praise, mm -hmm. and the ball, and a couple of times you get her to come up. And it could be two to three times a day. You don't have to do it a hundred times. But each time she gets to smell the ball, she gets to jump up, she gets the ball, and she gets mommy going <laughs> woo and all the excited moves. And that will quickly break or reset her uh, habit of not being, having any association with jumping up is a bad thing. Yeah. And that'll reset it and create a new behavioral pattern of, of it being okay. Because we already got the uh, subluxation or the, the misalignment and the irritated nerve to clear. Uh, and we're gonna do another checkup today anyway. Yeah, sounds great. All right, so that's Thank something you, so you could try at home. And that's something yeah. people could try too if they know the injury's better, but the habit lingers. So it's just a little something to try, a little tip. Come up. Up. Muppet, come. Up. 
So it's really not a problem. <laughs> yeah, it's not. So that's why I really think it's just confidence. And before she couldn't even do that, right? No, not at all. She, she wouldn't at all. Right, because that would have been... And then when she did, she yelled. Oh, so that's clearly yeah. a sign, but it didn't look like it happened that time. We give her a little praise. <laughs> good girl, Ma. Very good girl. Let's try one more time, okay? Let's put her down. Muppy. Muppy, let's go. Maybe you go with her and then quickly get up excited and you jump on the couch too. Come on. Come on up. Come on. Let's go. Good praise. Good girl. <laughs> so this is it. So, so, uh, but let's do a little, little check up, okay? Okay. So now let's do some stuff. Mm -hmm. Hi, Muppet. How are you? May I work with you a little today and give you just a little checkup, a little tune-up? How do you feel about that? Okay. Okay, a little checkup today. <laughs> All right, thank you. You're so cute. You're such a beauty. Okay. So I'm here on the neck. Okay, you're so cute. Let's bring your head up. Can you carry her head up Muppy. to the ceiling? Up, up, up. What a So use both hands and bring her all the way up to the Muppy. ceiling. There you go. What? Good. I'm just going to be under the neck here. Oh, good girl. Good. A little bit in there. Coming down the neck. And there's a little bit here. Got it. Good girl. <laughs> nice. Very good. Okay, let wait. Her jump. Let her jump. You want to get that? Yeah. <laughs> I want to move away from that guy. But put her on the ground for a second. Let her, she might like shake out. Oh yeah, there's, there's, the, there's shake. the shake. There's the shake out. Oh wow. And then have her come back up come inside. On. Come, come on. on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, that's okay. Come on. Come on. Okay. Now she got scared. Yeah. She's nervous. All right. All right. So we're gonna work a little slower now. Okay. It's okay. We're gonna come down the neck. Come here with you, huh? She's like, who's that guy? Just adjust my atlas. <laughs> Let me come down. And this is where I want to just do a little tapping, okay? Uh -huh. So I'm going to do, this will be softer than my hands, and we'll just finish quick, okay? okay? We're just going to do a quick tune-up. Oh, oh, okay. okay, okay. Got her all yeah. agitated. Okay, go. Moppy. Good girl. <gasps> Very good. One's one more. Be okay. the intense one. Okay. Okay. Yeah. That's it. <gasps> there you All go. All right, now put her down. You can walk around with her. Yeah. Walk around with her. I'm up. Maybe do the ball. Yeah, I'm gonna give her because this what she. Nice. Okay. Nice. <laughs> and is she able to like bounce it? Yeah. And see what happens. So like bounce Here, it. can I do yeah. it down the? Don't go all the way down the pole, but do a yeah, soft. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, Mop. Good job. Very good. And you Very can do it again. good. Muppy. Muppet, come. Good girl. Can I have it? Thank you. Oh. <laughs> good job. Very good. She loves to play, right? She loves to play. Nice. Wow, nice job. <laughs> Now, let's see if you throw it on the couch, what happens, okay? Let's see it. She didn't need to jump She didn't need one. to, but she didn't hesitate at all. Yeah. All right, good. So we're done with the visit. Um, leave her a comment, and great to have you back. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> go, Muppet, go. Okay, ready? <gasps> she did it! She did it! Yeah. it she jumped for the ball. Good girl. <laughs>